guys, this is Kamiguno and Comic Frontline, and today I'm doing another Mayday Journey, which I review every Spider Girl comic, uh, and we're up to Spider Girl issue 79, so let's get started and talk about this issue. Uh, with this issue, we get to see that the Goblin Queen is still pretty crazy. Uh, we're seeing her character develop a bit more, and her wanting Normie to also be the Goblin King. Uh, dosing him into some goblin juice to uh, get him some superpowers. And she's already has superpowers from years and years ago, so uh, she's already um, in the status of Goblin Queen, but she wants to convert Normie in, in her madness. Uh, also, Mage is adjusting to life after all of the gang wars and Black Tarantula being in love with her, and she's trying to get her love life in order, and she meets this guy named Chris Jocker. Um, normal guy likes May, and May's thinking, oh, maybe I should be with a normal guy, an average guy, but, or is my life too complicated for that? Uh, so she's balancing her love life a bit, um, as this whole normie situation goes on, and, uh, after the, the situation with the Goblin Queen, normie's not a goblin anything, thank God, uh, the, the serum doesn't affect him, and he's like, you know, this, this event has made me want to reconsider my relationship with Raptor, and it seems like they're gonna get married, which, yes, that is gonna happen, uh, in the series very soon. So, uh, of course, May has a little crush on Normie, so is she in favor of this, or is she not in favor of this? And towards the end, it seems like she is, because she ends up with Chris, at least towards the end of this issue. Uh, I thought this was a great issue, as always. Progressive story very well. Um, as I said in last issue, and I think the issue before, um, with the introduction of the Goblin Queen, she is pretty much May's arch nemesis. So to, to see her origins fleshed out like this is a lot of fun. And we're going to see the, the Goblin cult uh, grow even in Spectacular Spider Girl. I would say even more in Spectacular Spider Girl. So not Amazing Spider Girl, but the one after that. But she's also an Amazing Spider Girl, too. Again, she is the arch nemesis of May, so you're going to see her pop up a lot. Uh, and, you know, be in control of the cult and seeing if she will be able to get Normie, because she still wants Normie to be the Green Goblin, the Goblin King. Uh, so yes, we learn a lot about her in this issue, and also it's great to see some of the high school moments in, in this issue too, uh, because we had such a big story arc with um, Black Tarantula and, you know, this, this am I the dark side, am I the light side of May, um, uh, we haven't really gotten to see some of the high school stories, and now we get to see a little bit of Courtney here, and again we get to see a little bit of Chris. Uh, but my favorite part of this uh, of this issue, just little details here, has to be uh, the line that May says to the Goblin Queen, where uh, the Goblin Queen says, well, Spider-Man was nothing, no one will remember him, and she says, well, everyone will remember him because I'm his legacy. Um, so I, that pretty much admits to the Goblin Queen, not everyone knows this, in outside of, you know, this world of Spider-Girl, um, that Spider-Girl actually is the daughter of Spider-Man. And that's something I actually really like about the series, too, is that um, it's this, you know, it's never been confirmed to the outside world that Spider-Girl is the daughter of Spider-Man, but she kind of confirms it to the Goblin Queen here, which in the future might not be the smartest thing. She definitely gathers up clues about Spider-Girl and wants to learn more about her and learn more about her enemy. So I really enjoyed that little detail there. Uh, so, of course, overall, very good issue, and just develops the plot a lot, um, and we're getting, definitely going to get more of a normie story as we um, head fo uh, forward. There's going to be a lot of interesting normie story uh, in the next couple of issues. So uh, that's my review for Spire Girl issue 79. Of course, I'll have another Mayday's Journey next week. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno and Comic Frontline. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter and my Twitter page for Comic Uno. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye.